liquefied natural gas LNG from Canada. World market anybody? I think so. They say it. They don't even hide it. But the people who figure uh, figure this stuff out after everybody else are the people who are in charge of running this country. I always wonder, is this incompetence or are they complicit? I don't know the answer to that question. Now, there is, so this is what is being dumped on Burrowville, which is in the northwest corner of Rhode Island, you might know. Um, now, let's go on with this dumping in Rhode Island. Um, we're discussing currently a plan to buy, uh, to, to build a liquefaction facility. Uh, it's going to cost $100 million, and the costs will be basically paid by the people who use the gas, the, the, the rate payers. That's the law. Um, so what they're doing is they're taking the gas that's being imported via the Spectra Energy's pipelines, the expanded pipelines, and they're turning them in, in, turning it into liquid gas. And then they're going to transport this liquid natural gas and truck it to Exeter, to Cumberland, to sites in Massachusetts. What will that do? Well, it's going to probably increase the amount of uh, heavy traffic that goes through Providence. And who are the people who live next to I-95 in Providence? Well, I happen to know because I've been to various places where people were about to throw, be thrown out of their houses. You won't be surprised that anytime I show up at places like that, the people who are about to be thrown out have a skin that's a couple of tones darker than my, mine. There's no, there are no exceptions to that. I've never seen an exception. So, that's an example of environmental racism. Here at URI, where I live, there is no I-95. There are no trucks. Yes, there's an occasional one, but not big truck traffic. Um, okay, now, uh, you might think that I'm just talking nonsense because I'm some left-wing radical who sees the world in the wrong way. Uh, maybe I am, but I'm not saying anything that I can't back up. And I'm getting the help actually here from my friends of uh, EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, they came out a couple of weeks ago with a new website. It's called the Environmental Justice Website. And I went to that website and you can look up various indicators that uh, people have created that tell you about pollution, they tell you about demographics, and they tell you about um, and environmental justice indicators. Now, I'm not going to spend two hours explaining what all the indicators are. The, if you want to know, I, there are links in, in the write-up and you can follow them. I advise you to do it, but there, it's an alphabet soup where I have to admit, I have to think really deep before I figure out what they mean, but it's not the point. So anyway, uh, on the screen, I, I tell you how you can work with this thing if you're so inclined. I hope that at least one or two of you will actually try this and so what I did is I said, okay, we're going to build this uh, liquid, liquefaction facility, the LNG plant in um, Fields Point. That's close to the harbor of Providence. Let me see what kind of um, pollution we have there already, and let me see who are the people who live there. That's what I can get off this website. Well, I, I can tell you that right now, before we even start expanding, the most dangerous stuff that 